I really need to rerun that rat rig spinning scene because look at this. It's a lot prettier than it was when I filmed that original clip. But welcome to it 3 d It's Sunday night. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this, Jerry. Uh, and for everybody that's here, tonight we get into some nitty gritty. If you notice, I got wire. I've got funky looking, interesting looking tools. I've got electronics. I've got a board. We're going to do something hopefully a little more exciting. And I think there's a few of you out there that hope that this is maybe some electrical shock therapy time for me. But hey, you never know. We'll wait. We'll have to see. Um, without further ado, though, we missed him last week. I know we all did because we all asked about him. And guess who's here with me tonight? The one, the only, the amazing. Oh, I'm going to point this way. Jason, how are you? Good, you? I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> good, good. Hey, next yeah. time, can you can you throw a couple extra amazings in there? I'd, I'd oh, appreciate just, that. Just a couple? Just, okay, I'll just do one that. or two more. That's good. <laughs> oh, man. Hang on. You're, you, make the screen bigger. Your ego's swelling. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the screen. Wow. It's my head. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of hey, people no, already. Man. 11 people were were anxiously waiting to start this stream. So nice. um, in hey, your Jerry, absence last yeah. week, I was actually able to finish building the hot end and tensioning the belts. And I know you perused my stream and corrected me on one or a couple items. Um, I did fix that end stop that I cracked. And I had Good. even print, I even printed a second one. I actually printed two more in case I got muscle. Just, muscle in, case. Other, just in case, because <laughs> hey, why not, right? And then I did have, um, for those of you who are watching, I did have the um, gear on the stepper motor on here. Um, Jason backwards. mentioned that I did have it backwards. So I did flip that around. It went together just fine. And yeah, everything's everything's pretty good here. Um, as I say, the, the motion is it's tight, but I think that's because it's going through all this belt, whole belt system. So. Well, that's the motors too, because remember, you're you're turning two motors oh, every time you move right. something. Two motors so. at the same time as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So as long as it's you don't, it can be, you can you want. Well, I mean, there's going to be some resistance. What you don't want is jerks and stuttering. You want it. It should be smooth, but have some yeah. resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And and for those of you guys who were watching um, Jerry stream with me last Saturday and this Saturday, I got the Kaiwu going. So there's a little Kaiwu robot I finished printing. So Kaiwu nice. Robot, and I know this is not related to this stream, but what the heck, it's my stream. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, there's my focus button. Uh, but that turned out really nice. So that's pretty decent layer quality on that. Um, so I got that hot end working good going back to the Bowden system. The only thing that happened on this is there's a little bit of issues on the overhang under that logo mm -hmm. and under his chin there. And I think those are areas where really there should have been some support added, but I didn't add support. Mm -hmm. So, but he turned out good. So anyways, he's done. Mr. Kaiwu robot's done, but we're not here to talk about Kaiwu. We're here to talk about rat rig. So got to get some electronics, I suppose. The only thing that, that, I, that I've skipped, and I, and I don't think it's a critical step right now, is I still have a bare bed. I haven't put the plate on the bottom, the heat plate on the bottom, or the plate on the top. But the beauty of the bed is that can come off and I can do that any time. Um, and I suppose when the wire for the bed runs, it's going to be running sort of out the back and probably up and over or down and over. I don't know um, you can do, you can, whatever works as long as it doesn't get snagged and it has yeah. enough length to move, you know, the full, uh, distance mm -hmm. of the Z. So that's it. Mine, mine goes back, uh, do it in the camera down a little bit and then back up through a hole. Oh, okay. Um, and that's it. So that way the loop is kind of in this. It's kind of like a like a J. <laughs> yeah, like a J. So that when it goes down yeah, okay. and then when it goes up. Right. So it splits the the, the difference mm. of the full length. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some people do cable chains. It's yeah. yeah. And I've yeah. added uh, I didn't do this last stream. I figured I don't need to stream and show people how to do this. But I've added the heater cartridge and the thermostat to the hot end. Um, and the, and the BL touch was already there. So we're going to run all the wires off to the one side because we have a, there's a couple little zip tie holders built into there. So the wires will neatly tuck into the one side. So, um, somebody asked me in one of the comments this week. Oh, before I get to that, speaking of comments, I have to, I have to do a shout out. Um, and I apologize for last week because the notification came in late, but let me just find it here. 
Uh, here we are. And oops, wrong email account. If I go here, I just ha I have to do this shout out because I got a donation twenty five dollars from Steve Long last week. Thank nice. you so much for the donation, Steve. I appreciate it. And I see the time it came in was either during or just before my stream, but my notification came in late. So I wanted to make a point of thanking you very much this week. So that was much appreciated. Uh, and I did get another question this week. Am I going to put sides on the rat rig? Um, sides, and I believe they mentioned a cover. I'm not going to put a cover on it. Um, I, I, maybe eventually I will. I do have the sides. I got the sides made in two materials. I have them made in the same... Um, uh, it's called alu panel, actually. It's an aluminum panel as the back. And I also have them made in a much lighter and um, more flimsy um, PVC material. So I have the option of putting either or on. Um, the alu panel is nice and shiny on the inside, so I may end up doing that. It just adds that little extra weight to it. But this thing's heavy enough. What's another pound going to do, right? So, yeah. But, yes, I do have those on. I purposely left them off for the sake of the build. And for the sake of doing the wiring so that I don't have to reach in from the front all the way to the back. So those would be mm -hmm. the la one of the last things to go on. So, yeah. 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 If you if you have a concern of, you know, if you're going to print something very large and you're you're concerned about maybe a draft, mm -hmm. sides are good to even if they're coroplast or so, anything. Mm -hmm. It just just helps yeah. to keep that side draft out. Yeah. That's, yeah and I that's can even have a makeshift front on. one or, you know, and I it's easy to make shift something for the top. They do have an official. Um, enclosure for it that you can put up at the top, but man, it makes it even taller and yeah. heavier. So no, yeah. I would just do a makeshift to keep the draft out. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Kieran is asking if Cura is still working. It is. Um, I was struggling with getting my Cura going for the longest time, for a few weeks at least. It kept crashing. Turns out it was one little switch inside the settings I had to do. And yes, it's working great. As a matter of fact, I've, I'm printing over here on the very end. Uh, you can just see a printer. Oops, if I focus this camera, you see a printer running way in the background. And that was uh, that was sliced with Cura, and it's going to end up being a rubber shoe. So, yeah, pretty cool. But, yes, Cura is working great, and Karen, thank you so much for helping me with that. So, without further ado, I've already talked for a whole eight minutes. We're going to get into some building. I have not attached anything at all to the back of... This guy Tim, you said you wanted to do some shout. Um, did you want to say hellos or yeah, was it just the, a yeah, shout out that you meant? It was just shout outs, but let me do hellos anyways. Whoops, let's okay. see who's on stream. This is cool. This wire came on what looks like an old. Do you remember? Anybody remember reel to reel tapes? Looks like a reel to reel tape thing. Probably brought that up. And yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, let's say some hellos. I never do that. And, you know, we're not rushing the wiring this week because I don't want to get electrocuted this week, maybe next week, but. We have Aaron Souls on. We have Liam, uh, Magic Smoke Time. Yeah, maybe Liam. And Matt German's on. Again, congratulations on winning that 3D printer, Matt. Um, Matt won what? a... Uh, he won a... Um, 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 oh, a Fukus. The Fukus Odin. Focus. The Focus. Fukus. I, it's F-O-K-O-O-S. Focus. F-O-C-U-S. It, it sounds like it's spelled. Focus. <laughs> Focus. He won, a, he won a 3D printer. <laughs> and uh jeff hutchins from bc hello and steven pool uh non-fam of course you're always here and shane and jerry spc 3d betty boop betty boop is here we have dum dum dev in the house and we have the apprentice and that was your timing was perfect the apprentice because the the show just the the intro just started to run as soon as you posted that so good on you go buy a lottery ticket gary t is here we have Dwayne king um, we have uh, Dominic Versetto and Chris Black and uh, Killa Prince. Good evening, Killa Prince. I think you're new here. I don't recognize your name. Welcome. Uh, Astro Printer Liam. I think I already mentioned that. <laughs> um, the names are rolling on. We have Kieran, of course. Uh, Dwayne King. If I mention your name twice, forgive me. If I don't mention you once, forgive me even more. We have Mikel. Release the Magic Smoke. Sounds good. Dean Hines. And that's in the house for now. We have 19 people on so far, and um, those are all the guys that have commented. So uh, Kieran is saying, Adam from Vector 3D has designed cable clips for the Rat Rig 3030 channel cables and M3 belt cable clips. Yeah, I've got some, uh, I have some 3030 channel cable clips as well, but I, I'm going to go with, I designed these really cool cable holders. I'm going to run up the back, I think, and I may look into some cable clips as well, but uh, 
Are these, these are your typical ones you buy at the hardware store, sort of. Well, in focus. But um, I designed them so they're, they're a lot stronger. So the cable tie goes underneath, and then there's a little groove so that your cables can sit in them. So I'm just going to run that guy. These guys probably just up the back for when the cables are going to come down from here. So, yeah. Uh, what there. Karen's talking about, Tim, is um, those ones that I sent you, they they fit into the extrusion channel, and they, tw okay. they twist lock in. Um, it's going to be good oh. for you when you do the stepper motor wires uh, for the Z. Right. Oh, yeah. so when I run these motor wires from here all the way back. Yeah, yes. yeah. Because yeah. if you're yeah. if you're not going to do a bottom and a floor, then those wires yeah. are you know they got to go somewhere. Yeah. Okay. No. And then they're all probably going to come out this hole in the back here. So. Mm -hmm. Or. Or, uh, or that I, that one I think is for the bed, but. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can bring yeah. it through. Usually, it goes through the other side of of the center extrusion, or the you know yeah. opposite side. Um, is there a hole there? um the center extrusion no so on the center extrusion here all we have is this one large hole okay if it all fits yeah. through the one hole then it doesn't yeah. really matter yeah okay so i guess um wow first step so i've also actually got a camera in behind me here so if i do this i i did this kind of a camera view here so you can actually see the back of this oh you don't necessarily see my face but um yeah you don't necessarily have to see my face so I guess one of the I, I need to mount some hardware back here. I would assume. Um, um, if you want by, to, it's yeah. not a requirement. You can just leave it kind of loose with longer wires off to the side yeah. of the printer. But you don't, you know, it's it's really up to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm working from diagram wise. So this is what uh, Rat Rig has provided as far as the board I'm using. Um, I don't know if I can make that a full screen. Um, let's see. How do I make that full screen? I think I, I think that's it. I think that oh, right there. Yeah. So that's just a power supply hiding in behind my corner picture here. But yeah. So we have our our six stepper motors, our two fans. Uh, we have the heater bed. We have the two switches. We have the BL Touch on this one. We have the thermistor and the heater cartridge. And I believe all. And then we have the SSR. And we are adding a filament sensor. Mm -hmm. And then we are also adding a um, adding the um, 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 I got a little power supply to run the Raspberry Pi, I believe, mm -hmm. or something like that. Which I will need help with those because those are those are Raspberry Pi and little mini power supply way over my head. So it's just like the big one, but yours is small. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, there's the, there's the setup the for fire. you, Kieran. <laughs> Astro's already on top of it. Okay, so um, I think the first thing I'll do then, yeah, I do want to mount my, I, I will use the back to mount. That's why I, I paid all this money for this nice piece of uh, aluminum. So I can tell by the, by the holes that the main board is going to go here and the power supply is going to go here. So... I guess it doesn't hurt to have those things up and on before I do any of the wire running. Is that right? There's well, no you're going to want you, you're going to want to mount all your electronics first. Yeah. Because that gives you a distance for your cable lengths. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have a power supply. Let's see what power supply they gave me. It's from a company called Weihu. Weiho. Weihu. It's okay. It I, it's a Chinese uh -huh. brand, but it's. It's better than you know what Creality uses, so they're they're okay. It's yeah. no mean well, but hey, it uh, it'll do. Yep, it doesn't need much power. Um, yeah. it's what it's what 200, 250. What what size is it? This is a two hundred and fifty watt. Two fifty, yeah, volts. yeah. Because your your bed is really what's going to be the power hog, and it's using mains voltage, so you're good. Okay, so let's get this plastic off of this guy. Now there are, boom, and there. Yeah, so that guy is going to fit nicely right there. Oops, I guess I should switch cameras here. Da -da -da -da. So we are going to fit him here. Now there are some plastic. Um, you know, I'm going to drop something. I haven't dropped anything yet, so you guys have a pool going to see when I drop stuff, right? So. If it falls on your foot, that's a workplace incident, and you re and you reset the counter. Okay, sounds good. 
<laughs> I have these little plastic standoffs. There's one, two, three, four, there's eight of them. I believe there's yes. four for the motherboard and four for the power supply or main board. I should call it a main board. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to need some nuts. So these uh, are bolts for the power supply. So look okay. at the power supply, the back side of it that is going to yes. go. Right. So there's no ventilation across the back, right? Right. Okay. So what you can do is you can mount that directly to your Illumibon panel um, where oh, okay. that aluminum will then effectively work as a little bit of a heat sink and help dissipate some of the heat. Oh, okay. So I don't need the little um, spacers in there. Well, uh, right. Because you're going to want to yeah. use the other spacers for your Raspberry Pi board and your uh, other four for your main board. Oh, unless you make okay. more. So, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unlike the mean wells where they've got a lot of ventilation on the sides and the back, um, the ones with the fans anyway, um, those could, you know, benefit from a standoff. That one, right. either or. Yeah. Now, I wonder if they actually gave me hardware to mount these or if I've got to go grab my own screws. I bet I need to grab my own. But I got a ton of extra screws here. That came well, with see what fits. They're, yeah, they're, and M4s, I think, or M5. Yeah, they, look like, they look like M4s, but they're M4. very short. Yeah, because you don't want it, obviously, to go, you know, through yeah. the power supply. <laughs> yeah, and I don't see, let's see. No, so let's see, your panel's three mil, and you probably want it to go in, I don't know, a couple mil, so yeah, like a four by six, maybe. And four by six mil, yeah, because it's going to go in the power supply, probably two millimeters. Mm -hmm. Three and five, yeah. But I don't see any M4s in this package. I have a lot of screws, fortunately, if I don't find any here. And then here is the leftovers from the main build. Let's see what I got in here. Well, plus they gave me that big spare bag, which is going to have a bunch of stuff in it, too. So there's no, it's all M3 stuff that I got left over, it seems. So I'm going to save a bit of time, and I'm going to run over. I'll be back in a split second. Musical interlude. Do, 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 do. Um. Well, I'll just bring them both over. I got. All the way up M2 to M5s. Okay. One of them should work. Earlier, I think it was Jerry asked me where I got the uh, Kaiwu robot. I got it off the Kaiwu site. I downloaded uh It wasn't a test file on the card, but it was downloadable from their site as a uh, STL file. Okay, we have M4s, I believe. Let me just make sure, number one, that M4 is the right size, and it is. Okay, so we'll do, but they're not black. They're silver. They're not cool. That's okay. Silver will look good. Silver on black looks sweet. So. Well, you know, those are easy enough to change later if you don't like yeah. it. So if it's a one at, thing that really Yeah, bothers. one at a time, easy access. So. Okay, so... Make sure. Ooh, those holes are tight, but they work. Okay. Now I just gotta. I'm just. I, I'm just gonna feed those trolls on, that are on the stream <laughs> stuff. So I just gotta make sure I reach around here and I just gotta find the hole. And I'm pretty sure that these. Let me make sure. Yeah, those are not going to be, uh, they may be a bit long. So, okay. Oh, there we are. Yeah. So, you had a good week, Jason? Um, yeah, it was all right. I worked a lot, so which is why I missed you on Sunday too. So yeah, ended up having a long day, keeping the the flying public safe. 
Well, that's good. Whatever. That's you know that's how they that's how they get us right. Your job's important. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> and you're letting me do it. Okay. <laughs> And we need the pink wrench. Okay. So let's line this up. Get that on your way. On my way. We knew this day would come. Hello, ex photo man Tom D. Giacomo and oh, Betty Boo. Sounds like a new name. And Matt. No, he's been on before. I think the ex photo man is new. Oh, okay. Um, a new part of the name, but yeah. Because I have to look at it when I say it, I remember him. Ah. <laughs> Uh, and old curmudgeon. He's new. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's old. It's, it's right in his name. <laughs> it's right in his name, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go around here. And throw this one yeah. from this side. There we go. I'm not hitting the back of that board. I think these screws are nice. fine. There we go. I'll know when I power it on if I hit the back of the board with the screws. You sure will. You'll know right away. Probably. Here we go. Hey, so Dougal. Well. No, you haven't missed much. Just him doing Just his me. thing. This is actually the first The first thing he's done is mounted the power supply. Yeah. He hasn't dropped broken, or dropped, or hurt any himself yet. So no, <laughs> yet. Okay, <laughs> main board. Now for the main board, I'm gonna grab this camera here. We're gonna because I have to put on that um, close up and focus. There we go. I have to move my sticker to my sticker wall later. We have a interesting looking cable. That is a GPIO cable if you were going to run your Raspberry Pi from the board. Oh, I um, see. Okay. But you're not going to because you're going to use the expansion board. So. Ah, okay. We have all these connectors, which are critical. We have the antenna. And we have the box, empty box over there. And then there's a little expansion board that goes on this. Where did I put the oh, right in front of me? I said, where did I put it? It's right in front of me. I can never find anything right in front of me. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? And then we have some more little connectors that are probably important. So let's pull this board out. Yes, I'm wearing my grounding gloves. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I know. Put on a Livestrong bracelet. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Livestrong. So now this board, I just want to make sure that I put this little EB2V10 expansion board yes. in the right spot. Uh, yes, Paul, it's a Duet 3 Mini. Unless you were already answering somebody else that I missed. I don't know. So this guy, if I'm the mini Wi-Fi, goes right on here. Yep. Just like this, just like so. Just like so. Just like that. It's really Beautiful the thing. only place it could go. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to get my spacers because I don't want this touching the aluminum. I don't want that touching aluminum. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would not be no. good. And no. I might as well stick with the silver screw theme for the whole build since, because, you know, really, um, on the other side, the silver actually doesn't look bad against the black, actually. It kind of makes okay. it look almost. Well, you know, if anybody comes down to your basement and doesn't like the silver screws, they can get thrown out and go build their own. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We would enjoy though with the with 3D can. I just got that in the panel do five I. Nice. Nice. Good excuse to buy more spare parts, Karen. You're so right. Yeah. And I I've, and that is what Tim is going to be using, Paul. He's you you did get the panel do five, right? Not the seven. Do you get the five inch screen? <laughs> Five and yes, I believe yeah. so. Um, the one that you, I, the one I, that I you think suggested. so. Yeah, I think I told fact, you just get the five. Yeah, the, the seven is it. giant. It's the panel to E5 with 10 pin, and it was there $90 plus shipping. There you go. Whoops, just lost that. That's okay. Okay, these guys. Let me just see. Oh, these are a little smaller. These are the M4s are not going to work so well for these. I think these are going to need to be M3s. Let's see. It's good. Giant a giant screen is good for blind people. Really, Matt? Yeah, or old people like me. Well, the giant screen is good for old people. Blind people don't need a screen. <laughs> That's true. So, <laughs> well, these are purposely smaller. Those are M3s, yeah. Okay. So this guy can go in. There we go. I should actually <laughs> take that bed off. <laughs> well, if it's in the way, you know, comes yeah, down and it just lifts off, so. Yeah, uh, so far, it's, I only hit my hand on it once. It's not an incident. It didn't, it didn't hurt. I burned my finger on Saturday, yesterday, but there was nobody around to witness it. So, Well, you just gave us a statement, so it counts. <laughs> I want to make sure that the nut will fit on there. Yes, good. I don't want too much sticking out. And did it come with plastic washers, thin thin nylon washers? Um, if not, I mean, you don't really need them. If it has them, you can use them, but. Yeah, the, uh, yes, it did. Okay, then you want to use that under the, the nut. Under the nut on the board. Yeah. Yeah, it did right here, four of them. There you go. Mixed in with a bunch of clips. Them out. Put these clips back in. And we'll put that back over there. There we go. Okay, so now, oops, one more spacer. I hope I use long enough bolts now. Uh, we'll find out. There we go. And I want the power supply portion to be down. There we go. And there's just grabbing my nuts. <laughs> I said it. God, I can't believe I said it. Washer. Oh, I've left that really tight. Uh, well, let's see if I can get a nut on there. No, I think I I think I need longer bolts. Of course, of course I do. That's all right. Yep. Okay. Anybody with kids out there? Young kids watch this show. I got this stupid song stuck in my head from some show called Gabby's Playhouse. Gabby's Dollhouse. I shouldn't say stupid. It's just one of those earworms, right? Anyways. Sing it to us, Tim. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> meow, 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 meow. I may as well share the earbug with you. <laughs> hey, Gabby. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. You asked for it. 
<laughs> no, well, you know, unfortunately, I have seen the show, so yeah. I was just wanted to see how good you were. <laughs> and I know you're by your laughter. You're like, yeah, that's the show. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, okay, here we go. Better than Baby Shark. Yes, it is better than Baby Shark. It is, yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, good. We got a couple started here. And I know normally you'd put the bolt through the front side and the nut in the back, but I want the front side of this panel to be have a consistent look with just bolts. So. I think this camera view is going to be pretty good for most of it because at least everybody can kind of see what I'm doing. Actually, you know what? It might even look better. Look even cool if I did this. Only that and then just focused it. Aha. Uh -huh. When you're a one man operation and you have three or four cameras, it's, yeah, not, not easy to switch cameras on the fly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yes, Kieran. I, I, it, it is a change from Bluey and and Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just working over here, and I hear oh, Jason yeah. laugh, and it's like, okay, what did Kieran or, or Liam say? <laughs> it's, it's Although I do like Bluey, Peppa, Peppa can you can keep Peppa, but I like glad you like Bluey. That's a good show. Okay. We have a main board mounted. There we go. Okay. Now the other, let's see. I don't want to put this back in the bag because I'll lose it, knowing me. Betty Boop likes Baby Shark. Maybe. I'm not even going to get going on that. <laughs> no. Come on, Tim. I can be your backup dancer. Rat rig printer. <laughs> Anything oh, is better that, than Barney. That, how I should be doing <laughs> Come this. Come on, Liam. Okay, so you I can't diss be... Barney like that. Um, now, the, I've got a mount, obviously, um, but there's no holes for it. So, But I've got a, uh, a um, solid-state relays. Now, mm -hmm. turns out they, sold, they, they sent one with the kit. Mm -hmm. I also bought one. So... What did you buy? I bought an Omega. Use that they, one. They sent one called a Sealin. Yeah, it. I mean, it's probably okay, but yeah. use the Omega. Yeah, I bought this Omega. Why is that so bright? Yeah, I bought this one out of Montreal. Omega, Omega. There you yeah. go. I'll use that one. But now that's got a mount somewhere. <laughs> now, if I look in the picture... It doesn't show where it mounts, but it does. So this just needs, this has a rubber backing or almost like it's a magnet. No, not a magnet. No, it's a heat sink. Oh, okay, on the back. Yeah, because they can so get again, hot. Is that, a, is that a case where it's probably okay to mount it straight to that so that this helps as a heat sink? Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, I actually, what I did to mine was um, I mounted it... Uh, to the center extrusion right and oh, oh, to this. you know thinking that if it just gets too hot it might be able to wick away some of that heat a little bit but right. it's not it's not like it gets it's not going to yeah. melt anything you know and then the so, wires are going to go from the diagram we're going to have wires going from the mother the main board to here and then from here to the heat bed so thinking of i'm just thinking of position on here um I could just use the center extrusion screw right here. Um, yeah, if you can get to it. Oh yeah, that's the thing. So, that's one of, oh. Yeah, yeah, if you're, you know, you can you can loosen those center those center bolts, but I don't know how much flex is in that panel. Yeah. So if you don't have much flex, then you won't be able to really pull it back and forth. But if you yeah. don't put it there, it's fine. You know, I used. Um, I used uh, HDPE on the back of mine, so you know I had some flex in it. Um, oh, you can, I see. Okay. So you can mount it really anywhere. It it doesn't. 
Yeah, it's I not could use that actually, big a deal. I could just use some VHB. I don't even need to drill. I could just VHB it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't oh, put an oh. adhesive because it's gonna get it's gonna get a little warm. Yeah. But over time, that's one thing that you don't want to drop because you've got mains right. voltage on it. You want it okay. mounted securely. Yeah. Okay. So if I mount it, if it's coming from here anyways, if I, I can mount it just anywhere because then it's just gonna go from here to the bad wires. And I'm gonna cut the bad wires to length anyways. So I think even down here, because I don't I'm looking to see what else goes on the back here. And um, other than the Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. which will probably, which can probably go anywhere, because again, we can run wires from anywhere. The Raspberry Pi and the five volt power and supply. The five volt power supply. I have to open this five volt power supply because it is so damn cute. Oh. <laughs> so I mean, we could have. I can have Raspberry Pi and five volt power supply. Actually, the power supply probably because that's going to run off of this power supply, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, there's so much we can do, but I want to run wires up the middle, so I don't want to put anything in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will we'll put this guy just down in below here somewhere. So let me grab a. Uh, so the two places that that goes. Um, yeah. So you're gonna have you're gonna have two wires coming from the main board, yeah. and you're gonna have one wire going to the power supply and one going to the to the mains. So it depends on where you pull that from, whether you pull it from the switch or you pull it from the power supply terminal either way. So um, it really doesn't matter where you do it. Yeah. You just, you know. Oh, so there's one wire going from this to the to the main supply as well? Oh. Right. So yeah. So what, ha what the way that works is one side of it is DC and one side is AC, right? right. So the, D the DC side is going to connect to your main board that's going to take the DC signal that the bed is on or off from the main board. When mm -hmm. that, when that's, when it receives that signal, there's, there's a, there's a, um, a digital relay in there basically that uh, connects the other side of it. And that allows okay. power to pass through to the bed. So the okay. bed will always have a neutral direct run and then you'll have a hot, running across that that gets broken to turn the power on and off okay so you want to figure out in the dc side um usually if you just look on it it'll it'll have it printed somewhere or it'll have um the uh uh oh, the designation for it yeah here's let me let me do a close-up shot of this oh that's bright yeah there's too much here hang on this will be better yeah there it is perfect Yep. So we have a, it's got one L1, two T1, mm -hmm. a four A2, and a three A1. I'm assuming the A is the AC side? So line and terminal, A1 okay. and A2. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'll get it hooked up and we'll figure it out. Again, this stuff is way over my head, some of this stuff, but this is, uh, this is the time for me to learn all this. So. And usually, and I wasn't paying attention, usually there's an LED on it. Um, that tells you it's on or off. Yes. Um, okay, yeah, and it's usually power? off center, and it's usually closer to the DC side. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, weird. Yeah, because this has a, uh, I believe this is the LED right here. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, well, input okay. status. Yeah, so it lets you know if there's if it's on or off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll drill a hole for this guy right about here. I say maybe somewhere in between. I don't think it really, I'm overthinking it is what I'm doing. Well, think about how the wires are going to run, right? So yeah. you're going to, if you put it kind of in the middle. Yeah, because you're going to go from here to here. Right. Here so you, you, here, you from here down to here. Do you want to rotate that 90 degrees and have what goes to the bed towards the main board and what goes towards mains towards the mains? Yeah, that's true. It doesn't have to be the right way up. Yeah, it can go any way, any way that you think would be easier for you to wire. So line one would go towards the, the power supply. Go towards the power supply. So here. Yes. And then we have A1. So that's line A2, voltage. Line voltage here. Okay, yeah. So probably turn it that way there. Okay. Let me... Uh, I have to actually... I actually have to pull out a sharp drill... Okay, all you guys that are logging, counting on me hurting myself, get ready. 
It's too big. That's uh, oh no, you didn't, Tim. What? You didn't ban tripod. He got in again. Oh, you're kidding. No, he's back in. Let me put him in timeout. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, where's my drill? Uh, who else is in here? Built over bot. Hey, uh, anybody new jump in? Mark Flanagan says hello to you, Tim. Oh, hey, Mark. You haven't been on a stream in a bit. You've probably just been working too hard. Google still wants you to have your hard hat on. I don't need that. What, in case I drop the drill in my head? <laughs> so we're going to do... Um, where's my little thing? There it is. <laughs> and I'm going to, because I'm in the sign business, I can eyeball level. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Said no one ever. So we're just going to go right about there. Eagle Eye Tim. There, and of course, there. And of course, I use a purple, dark purple marker on a black surface. <laughs> Built over bot says you can't install it that way. It has to go straight up and down or it will drive someone like him nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, Built over bot just for that. <laughs> do it at an angle. <laughs> just do it at an angle. Yeah, and, I'm and gonna, backwards. I'm going to actually go like this <laughs> and backwards. <laughs> okay, I'm going to Pull this over here and just for your entertainment purposes we're going to do this one and you can get to see me drill but now i can't see my friggin dots so i will there's my dot <laughs> i don't have a center punch They're pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. Uh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, Mikhail made a good point. Um, when yep. you're drilling, don't drill and hit your Z rod in the back or, or, right. or the rail. <laughs> so. Or the rail, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, or anything for that matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that was a good. That was a pretty good distance from the Z rod. But yeah, that's a good heads up for sure. Okay, that was an M five, M four. Let's see. And Liam agrees with you. A hard hat won't work. He says you need a Faraday cage for what you're doing. Oh God, Liam! <laughs> a Faraday cage. I'm watching a show right now, and they. Um, Used a Faraday cage in it to block some technology signal from getting out. It's pretty interesting you mentioned that. Really good right. show. I don't know if anybody's kind of seen they do. called um, Colony. In or out. Colony? Oh, I've seen it. That's canceled. A long time canceled? ago. It's an old show, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just watching the third. The third season just came out on Netflix or whatever. Mm. Yeah. That's why I really don't watch shows anymore because. I'll watch something and I'll be like, oh, this is good. Oh, it got canceled. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I'm hoping they do a little wrap up on the third season because it's actually a pretty neat story. So. It was. I, I, I gave up when I saw it was canceled and they're like, I was like, eh, whatever. I just quit watching it. A boomstick and rubber gloves. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now, dude. Nut. Oh, but I didn't want to go straight on the metal, did I? I wanted to put something in between it. No, you're fine. Straight on the I'm metal. Fine. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. right, because it's kind of a heat sink type thing. It'll, yeah, it'll get a little warm. I mean, it's only you're only going to have, you know, power really drawn through it constantly at a high wattage when you're heating from cold. So, and right. it's going, the bed's going to heat pretty fast. Once right. that happens, okay. it's trickling and you know, you're okay. The The biggest thing is that, you know, when those things go bad, um, they usually fail on. Oh, okay. So, yeah. What, but that's that's what the the, uh, the thermal fuse is for on your bed heater. So, 
Firefly made me. Yes, Firefly. That that Firefly should still be going. There we go. I agree with that, Paul. I was level. sad when that went away. Yep, the bubbles the in the middle. Stargate the bubbles in the middle. The middle of the end. <laughs> okay. We have three components mounted. I'm always a man that puts his tools away as he works. <laughs> God, why do I say these things? Yeah, Mark Flanagan, I want to know more about this new Stargate because it's oh, either really? it's either going to be the last time I started to watch Stargate Universe, and I liked it, and yeah, then it was just gone. So the Sci-Fi Channel, you know where you can go because all they do is cancel good shows. Yeah. Okay, this little puppy... These M3s, yep. May as well while I'm drilling. Um, so this is the little guy that's going to power the Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm. Raspberry Pi is this little guy. <laughs> I sound like Dr. Seuss. So we're going to have a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> so these can actually go down over this way. Um, yes, Mikhail, there are normally open SSRs. Um, I know the last time I tried to buy one, which was for the rat rig, um, oh, and also for the Voron, um, I couldn't, I couldn't find them in stock anywhere. What do you mean an open SSR? Uh, well, okay, so it's either normally open, normally closed. So this, this oh, is okay. a... This is a normally open SSR, um, but what he's saying is, so when they fail, they fail open. What happens oh. on on these um, that are electronically driven, they will basically fuse to a closed position and just fail on. Oh, um, I see. There are there are some. They're a little more expensive, um, but they're you know they're a little and they're a little bit safer. the The biggest thing is you know don't. Don't buy, don't buy it from, you know, some guy's trunk where you expect it to say Omega or Omron and it, and it says Omoga or Om Omeron, <laughs> you know, yeah. don't buy that one. <laughs> Cause what they, are, what, hmm? Hmm, what are these two holes for down here? Yes. What Whatever you mount there. It could have been for the, uh. Because it's close to the bed heater, it was probably for the SSR. For the SSR. Oh, okay. Well, which, yeah. this is fine. Yeah. So I'm wondering if I can get this little power supply. Oh, there the you go. What are the chances that those two holes line up? They don't. But, but I, I bet I, you one of them will. One of them will. <laughs> oh, well, duh. <laughs> you know, I'll take that bet. Um, uh, let's see. But I should use both to hold it on. That's on the other side. Now, the trick to marking these, I'm going to Okay. Actually, I don't know if I will use the same one. I'm going to put that Oops. And if this is painful to watch, not eh, too bad. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Mark, I, 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 I really like Stargate. Well, I like Robert Carlyle, too, so I think he really made the show. I think if if it wasn't for him, <laughs> I think I think the show... Oh, yeah, I was... <laughs> I was just going to let that one go. <laughs> just being nice. Now I'm just going to figure out how I'm... Oh, the distance. Well, I can just do this and cheat by going. And then... Actually, hang on. This will. Everybody's saying, what the heck is he doing? Hey, I have a plan. He didn't say it was a good plan. He just said he has a plan. We'll see. Is it, will it be shocking? Will you shock nope. <laughs> the audience? <laughs> no. Nope. But I do have a.
Where's your marker? Well, the thing is, it's, <laughs> it's not easy to mark. Like, uh, okay, like uh, there's somebody out there going, there's a way to do this. So I have two holes set at a specific distance apart. Yes. I need to, I need to actually transfer that distance to the back of this. Yeah. Somehow. Now, so get a uh, sticky note and poke two holes through it where those holes are and then transfer through the sticky note where the holes oh, are. See, I knew somebody had a way. <laughs> that's that's see? one way. There are there is a plethora of ways. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know what? I'm just I'm growing a brain here because I'm, yep. I'm having Sh Shane, that. There, there. Now it's coming in. A piece of paper. Rub a piece of paper. A piece of now paper. Yeah. Yeah. They're yep. getting you. They got you. And I and I've done this before, and I should know, but I'm a little nervous here, guys. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> No, you're on. The, you have the wrong audience for that, Tim. I know. <laughs> Built Overbot says, if you drill thirty holes, you have a chance of two of them working. <laughs> well, I want to know. I want to know: are those randomly chosen locations, or are they patterned holes? And if so, what are the actual chances? I need to see a spreadsheet on this, Built Overbot. You need. You, I know you can't post a link, but. You, you got to give us some details. It's got to do better than that. Sorry. There we go. Because because there's a real good chance that Tim could drill 30 <laughs> holes and two of them will not line up. Oh, yeah. Maybe one of them won't even line up. You just you would just have to see how it goes. Is that like a yeah. mathematical? <laughs> yeah. I'm Blue tape. Not... Yeah, that's one. Wait, who said that? Is Llama here? Who said blue tape? No, that was Chris Travis. <laughs> Just use a shotgun and you can pick any hole you like. How about the one big hole that it makes? Just, just, just hang it by with by the wires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saving myself. I'm using an existing hole. I'm gonna drill one new hole. Yeah. You know, I haven't I haven't printed my uh, drill bit holder yet, so. And it's the people that are going to say, "Why is he pulling drill bits out of a plastic bag?" Well, that's no, what they're what they're saying is you should have kept the drill out. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just hot glue it. No, <laughs> Chris Travis, come on. Oh man. Okay, the drill stays out. Can't win with this crowd. There you go. Drill a couple holes and zip tie it on. That's that's always a good look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I think that's how Tim got the gray printer in the back working again. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to do problem. we don't want to do it to such a prestigious type of printer as such no. as this rat rig. So. No, this rat rig's got to look good. Uh, this one. Top pole. Oh, I think this it's going to be too short. Uh, hopefully that's not too long. Sounds like the three little pigs. Wrong hole. Oh, come on. Oh, hey there, Kenneth Sang. Yes, I was waiting for somebody. Yes, Dougal called it the wrong hole. <laughs> uh, I think Kieran was typing another message already, and he got beat to it. <laughs> yep. There we go. Now, oh, there are two holes close to each other here. <laughs> well, you, you know what's good is that uh, by having that, um, that something covering the backside of those holes, when you look at it from the front, it kind of darkens it out so you don't notice it really. Yeah. 
and you know you're not really looking for it. i got holes because i've had three different main boards in the rat rig so that you know <laughs> there's yeah. just one area where it's just got a bunch of holes that if i swap back and forth from whatever i used they all fit random holes yes okay All, you, all I'm hearing is these chuckles. At least, at least everybody's entertained. Oh, well, if not, K Kieran seems to be. So we'll just move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, well, it's uh, crooked. Nobody's going to judge me because that's a little crooked. Yes, they will. Nobody we'll just, just give them a chance. <laughs> I'll put them up on the, I'll put the chat on the screen. <laughs> And then a Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure which way I want this to face. Because uh, we're going to be plugging. Okay, um, how are you? Okay, so how are you going to power that? You're supposed to tell me that. No, I'm supposed to help to keep you from setting it on fire. <laughs> Well, this gets powered from the five volt supply. How? How? Yes. Okay. So if I'm you look, if you look at the Pi Four, that's a Pi Four. Yes, it is. Okay, so you've got a USB C terminal on it, right? I do. Okay, so typically with a USB cable, you've got a, some form of USB on either end, right? So yeah. does like a USB A plug into the five volt power supply? No, nothing plugs in here. No. I'd have no. to bare wire it. I'd have to wire cut the wires on the USB C. Is that how they power? Um, uh, well, I'll tell you what. What I did. So you can you can power it to the GPIO pins. So you can you can crimp a terminal, right? Yeah. You can strip back the USB-C, try to figure out which of the two wires in that mm. wire bundle, because I think there's eight in a USB-C, right. maybe 10, I yeah. forget, um, and figure out which two are the positive and negative for the five volts. Or what I did was I took a length of wire and soldered it to the back um, for the two power pins and oh. just ran that over to, that's just what I did. Um, because I didn't feel like crimping any. I just, you know. Yeah, so you just went ahead and soldered it. So there's the USB-C. Right. So those two pins here. Um, I don't remember. I remember I remember verifying it with a meter. Um, yeah. What I, what I did was I took a USB-C cable, plugged it in, powered the board, and then checked to see where the five volts, which two pins oh, were, okay. and then soldered, yeah, directly to them. Okay, um, so I will, um, I'm better off the other, just wait. Yeah, you can also solder it to the GPIO pins. Um, yeah. You can, uh, you can make, like I said earlier, you can make a connector for the GPIO pins if you want to plug it into the top. This is completely up to you. This is, yeah. this is the personalization of how you do it. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll hang on to that because if I do decide to solder on the back, I don't want that to be on there yet. So I can always attach that later. That's mm -hmm. not a big deal as long as I'm going to. So this is going to get its power from here. Yep. I would think, yeah. So this is going to power this five volt. This is like a step well, down. Take, no, no, no. So you're going to put, you're going to put your 125 volts in the, into that small one. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to have mains to that and mains to oh, the larger okay. one. Mains yeah. to both. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll put the pie away. We won't eat pie right now. And I guess now it's a matter of maybe just cutting some wire, running some wire lengths. <laughs> so chat says they're going to judge even if it doesn't look crooked. So I told you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you must like solder. No, built over by, it's not that I like soldering over crimping or that I like crimping over soldering. It's just, just how I feel at the moment. Sometimes yeah. I don't feel like getting out the crimpers and the crimps and the, and the, and the terminals and the strip and I just don't feel like doing it. Sometimes it turns out to be even more difficult to solder it. It's just it's just how I feel at the time. So you know. I'm just gonna throw a few of these cable holders up while I got the back on. 
I could have printed that long green strip that they give you, but. No, you know what? Using yours, I think, you're, is actually probably going to come out really nice. Um, I, I I put that skeleton thing in the back, and it's, you know, if I ever go back and pull all the wiring out, don't know why I would, but yeah. if I ever did, I would just toss it and go with cable ties because I'm just like, it, it looks cool uh, when you print it, but, but it's, yeah. yeah it's, it's practical. It's it is to some degree. It's it's not. I don't want to say it's the best. I don't know. Right. I, you know, some people may love it. I, I'm. I, I. You know. Yeah. I'm sure it's whoever whatever. designed it came up with it loves it. Yep. <laughs> For sure. Yes. You don't have equal spacing between those, Tim. Oh, I know. <laughs> did somebody say that? Or did you say that? That's okay. I may Fine. maybe I don't remember. Chat moves fast. What? <laughs> this is equal. That's equal. Equal and this to is what? Equal to one, this is equal to this. This is equal to 1.3 of this <laughs> because these things, and then this space in here is optically equal to this when you're tech, talking a 1.3 ratio equivalent of spatial diameters. So well, I'm very good at spatial reasoning, and I and I know what you go. just said is all bull. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to run some wires. Um, um, wait, turn, flip around to the back. To the back. Did you, you did use the standoffs for the Raspberry. Oh, you don't have the Raspberry Pi mounted yet. No, I won't, because if, if I'm going to solder to the back of the Raspberry Pi. Oh, are you going, okay, okay. I thought you said you were going to do something to. different. Although okay. I guess I could get the holes ready and drill the holes, because eventually it will mount. Since you got the so, drill out, you might as well get that yeah, out of the way. Yeah, that's true. And then um, I can actually always, um, then I want the plugs up because I can access the plugs from the top. And I want that to be down probably right about, uh, let me think. Uh, if I'm going to run power to over to this side, actually, if I turn that that way, that would make a little more sense to go that way. And then I can always run cables in from the side. Yeah. Oh, but the, but then that's upside down because if I, that way it reads HDMI, this way it doesn't. <laughs> well, re remember you're gonna have you're gonna have a an Ethernet port on the side of the printer this, anyway. Yes. So Which will you're run gonna, from here to there. Right, so and then there, yeah, it's true. Right. Yeah. Good point. So yeah, I thought, yeah, and again, so something just like this <laughs> yes, fine. built over bot that that yes, Tim was using the new math. Actually, I think he was doing it in base eight. So oh, they, that's why it sounded strange. Yeah, yes, you know, that's exactly it's what it's it's base. like base ten, Liam. Um, if you're missing two fingers, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to mark these holes. <laughs> Do I have a center punch? Why wouldn't a guy like me have a center punch? You, a sign maker? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, guys, look how crooked that stuff is. Wow. Oh, one piece is crooked. Give me a break. Um, so the SSR and the power supply? No, just the power supply is crooked. The little one. The SSR uh, is straight. This mm, is straight. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> there. Is it better? <laughs> it had a bit of wiggle room in it. Is that better? On, Kieran, right Kieran says, "I will it, admit this is crooked, but I don't care." That's okay, because you know the power will still come out. He's he's calling bullshit bingo. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's not upset, Mark. He just barks. He yes. barks at anything that moves. I hope you don't hang signs like this, Tim. I mean, um, come on. <laughs> no, actually. Oh, it's all right. Your lack of an answer speaks volumes. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna make the pie. Let's see if I can. Yes, get out the level. <laughs> Actually, uh, and built over bot is right. That one piece makes everything look off. It does, <laughs> but it's okay. It's in the back. You won't okay, see it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. No, I won't. Don't. Oh, I'm don't give in. To, don't give in to peer pressure, Tim. I'm not giving in to terror. You, you, you are a grown man, well, 
very well on in years. You shouldn't have to listen very, very <laughs> <like> well. <laughs> oh, where's my tiny, tiny bit? Tim, there's just some things you shouldn't say out loud. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Ortho says it looks straight to him, but it could be the rum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to put this right here. And then all it is is a schwack of wiring. I better friggin' make sure this is level. I'm eyeballing level, okay? And in my defense on this little power, forget it. I'm not even, I don't need to, I don't feel the need to defend myself. Don't defend yourself to this batch of people. Okay, that's not going to come. That will cut it. Okay, here we go. And straight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're saying you can fix it after it catches fire. <laughs> hey, Maker know. Viking. Maker Viking's nice. He won't criticize my crooked... He won't. Not not to your face. Not to my face. <laughs> no. The rest of us, you know, we, we like you, so we'll just do it to your face. Okay, <laughs> that's I, need, I need to come up with some sort of a little... I need something pointy. I need something some, pointy. Point oh, I know. Tweezers. Those I are going to bend. Oh, Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, I thought you were gonna use that as a punch. I'm like, no, no, no. I just, wanna, I, just need, I just need to scratch. Just need to mark it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I hope this is not hang signs. That's good. Yeah, that worked. Now I need at least an M3 to go through that. Let's see. M3. So we got to go a little bigger than this. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's so good. It's so good. So Stephen Poole says, pointy like a drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have a drill bit that small. Wait. What? No, it's all right. What'd you say? You wait. Can, you can fix it later. <laughs> fix what? <laughs> I gotta love this stream. Because <laughs> there's no love anywhere else in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, okay, come on off. So is it better to use the five? So Chris Black, for the for the Pi 4, um, the, the Pi 4 draws a lot of power. Um, there's a couple things you can do. The, um, the board he's using, the Duet 3 Wi-Fi Mini, um, it's not intended to power the Pi 4 or Pi in general off of that board. Um, the 6HC can, and they have a um, a way to do it specifically for that. Um, you could use the uh, uh, the the strapping cable, um, which is a ribbon cable off the GPIO pins, but because the 4B pulls so much, I and I'm, I'm not alone in this, but I believe that it has the potential, it may never do it, but it has the potential to um, pull a little more power than maybe that five volt uh, rail can um, really sustain over time. So just to keep things on the safe side and in a, additionally to keep a constant um, clean five volts to the pie, because if you're running everything from it anyway, you probably want to keep that as steady as you can no hiccups uh just run that I, what what did that power supply cost ten dollars 
that little 10, one about 12 yeah, bucks Canadian. 12, yeah. 12 bucks. Yeah. So, you know, so five bucks anywhere else in the world, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, it, it's just, it, it, uh, is it a must have? No. Is it a good to have? Yes. Yeah. But so more specifically to your question, is it better to use it? I, I believe so. I do. I use it. Well, except from the 6HC. The 6HC uh, from Duet, since they designed it specifically for that, um, the Pi, the, I have the Pi running from the main board. But for everything else, yeah, I use that small power supply. Okie doke. Put it on there anyways. And I'll worry about the power on it when it comes to time. Come on. Who mixed up my screws? somebody say oh that one screws longer than the rest well whatever i don't think anybody noticed but thanks for pointing it out <laughs> now they will <laughs> let's see those are not going to fit in this hole these are going to need to be m2s um yeah so here's what i do um with almost every pie yeah. i just take a three mil bit and drill it out yeah. Yeah, I guess I can. It's not so, going to hurt the electronics. You just there. you just want to go slow because you don't want to because there there is a there is a ground trace that goes around yeah. it. Um, you just don't want to you know, you don't want to start ripping that out of the PCB. So let's see three so mil. Don't go all don't go all Tim the Tool Man on it. You know. Three point five. Three point five. <laughs> there you go, Stephen. Yep, drill them out. Them out. <laughs> yes, they said the screws would have fit if one screw wasn't too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't breathe that in, by the way. No? No. Don't confuse that with the other powder on your table. <laughs> you know, this whole setup looks nothing like the diagram. No. It's okay. It's okay. okay the top two are in. I might as well secure those while I got those in. That's the green wrench. Turn, baby, turn. Turn, baby, turn. Disco, Disco and fail. <laughs> sure better than meow, 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 meow. You know, that, that was the first thing in my head. I've, I've been on too many of these streams, clearly. Yeah. Oh, my fingers are way too freaking big for this. Oh, man. Do it, guys. Do it, guys. That's what she said, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, what do you, Steve, pull, show us your wiring or just a pick. Oh, I don't do a cable management. Um, I do cable out of the way of moving stuff. So yeah, you can see it if you want to. Um, I got some pictures here. What do I got? Is this one kind of a good one um, or not? Well, let's see. It's not the right size freaking. They're mostly close ups for me to see what I've got plugged in where, but otherwise, here, I'll I don't make think your I've got like a full. Oh, it's fine. They don't oh. really need to see all that anyway. But, um, and they're not the best pictures. They're just there for me to see. Did I plug that in? <laughs> kind of thing. So, oh, here's here's the here's the rat rig. Oh, while I, well, kind of. So let's see if you guys can kind of. That's the back. So I just leave the wires loose as long as they're not in the way of anything. You know, just use good terminals and stuff. One, two, three. So. Yeah, that's that's about it. It wasn't like a full on photo shoot, you know. It was just go to just a reminder that I actually plugged something in or not before I have to turn that big old printer around one more time. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go longer ones because I'm having trouble getting the nuts on. Oh, don't jump the gun, built over bot. It's going to be a little wire, but a little while, a wire, a little wire, a little while before we get any power onto the wires. So. Yeah. Uh, it, won't, oh. it won't be tonight, I'm pretty sure. Not the way I'm going when I can't even get four freaking screws in the hole. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Cubes control box. I'm not That's used nasty. to um, having people watch me struggle. Okay, go for it. Go for it. I know I just said it. <laughs> go for it. That's not what we heard. What? <laughs> Now, if I can't get a nut on this one, I don't deserve to have this printer. Uh, Web3, welcome. Built over by hey, Web3. <laughs> you need to have a photo shoot for wiring <laughs> and higher models. Yes. Maybe I can get Tim. He's cheap. Cheap, but I'm not easy. Okay, why aren't these nuts? Are these the right size nuts I have in my drawer? What the heck? Are your nuts too small again, Tim? Well, no, that's the right size nut. <laughs> I'm just having trouble getting it started. Oh, there we are. It's my fingers. I don't even really need to put this on too secure yet because depending on how I'm going to power this, it's coming right off again. Wow, these guys really want you to straighten that 5-volt power supply. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, cheap or inexpensive? Uh, yes, Liam. <laughs> Left-handed nuts? <laughs> yes. Uh, you. Okay. Um, did you have a, did you have all four sp Oh, you just haven't put the spacers in because the bolts aren't there. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And one more bolt. One more spacer. Now i got to go through all this to take it out if I decide to. Yeah. I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Hallelujah. freaking Luya. There we go.
point zero one two inches, Paul, is what are you calling out for that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I am going to. Due to peer pressure. Um, <laughs> needle nose. No, Porthos, it isn't straight. Thanks for asking. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. That does it. That's it. I'm going to straighten it. That's it. Remember, that's I, an aluminum panel. I don't care if I have to bend the case. No. Now they're all laughing at you. That's okay. Let them laugh. I'm building a rat rig. They're not. <laughs> ooh, ooh. ooh. Game on. Burn. Game on. Show me your rat rig. It's right build, there. Build it. Not yours. <laughs> build it live. I, I was watching. alive when I built it. <laughs> Everybody watching, laughing. Here we have every uh, time out. Here they come. Whatever. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> what? But it has to be. It has to be said like whatever. Is straight. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Okay. But the Raspberry Pi, you'll notice, is straight. Okay. Now. Ish. Oh, you and your issues. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. If you read the instructions for this power supply, mm -hmm. it talks about a nine degree angle, and that's for power right. Flow. It's for power flow. That nine is the page number. <laughs> oh no, no, that's I'm, not. I'm pretty, it's not an angle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it talks about a nine degree angle for the flow. Now, what's going to bother me? Let's get rid of that box. Is if I turn this around. And you can actually notice those two screws off center, which you really can't. No, you can't. You can't. No, you can't. And you know, you can always get some paint, black paint, yeah. if you didn't want to see them, you know. I need to. Uh, I actually, a couple of scratches I've got to touch up, anyways. I'm not it's a machine, Tim. I'm not, not a... complaining because the guy I got this piece off of, I got it for next to nothing. So there you go. So there we go. There we go. There's the back. Nice and pretty. Why can't these all be wireless? Why can't I just do a print now wirelessly, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh, the wireless electricity? <laughs> wireless electricity. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All your components are Bluetooth. There you go. Bluetooth filament, Bluetooth print head. Yeah. That sounds, sounds like a recipe to win. <laughs> now, if I go to this camera, there we go. Now, what I need to do is... Right in here, there's two zip tie holders. I need to sort of get all these wires. Where's that fan wire going? Why is that fan wire coming out the front? I guess I can bring it in behind, but all these wires are going to sort of just come back along here. But I need to determine lengths of wires for all of these. Or am I better off? Now, this is, this is here's an interesting question. Um, now, it's to do because I've got other printers similar to it, almost like having a daughter board. Now, should I make connections here so that I can actually unplug everything without having to unwire everything? Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, um, for the this, answer I know to I that don't want to. is yes. Oh, I, so I should, yeah. Well, yes to both of them. You can run them all the way back. Um, yeah. You can put terminals on each one um, and do it there. It's that's kind of a preference thing, really. Um, yeah. If you yeah. if you think you're going to have a lot of fan failures or you know um, right. whatever, it's I, if I ever want to change the hot end, right? The then well, it depends because you know if it uses the same thermostat and the same heater, then you're okay. Right. Um, but if it if your heater goes bad, then you know at that point you're cuttering cut cuttering cutting and soldering on the machine or pulling it yeah. all the way back to the end where you're going to use um, 
you know, a cable loom. Um, so maybe not too bad. I have everything in a cable chain. I don't feel like unclipping all that and pulling wires back out and back through. Yeah. So I put connectors yeah. always at the end. Um, that's how I do it. Sort of up here somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Well, these have connectors, um, but I got to shorten them, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, can I now can you split the heater wire, the heater core wire with a connector? Is that bother it at all? No, because no. you're going to put a connector on the end anyway. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So it's okay. fine. What okay. I would suggest mm -hmm. um, is if you're going to put connectors in the back to try to make them as small as possible, like microfit connectors, um, right. which is what I'll use for that. Um, but yeah, it, but it doesn't really matter. You can use JSTs, you can, yeah, whatever, yeah. you know. So that's something I got to give a bit of, so that's a personal preference basically. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, but I mean, some of them you're going to have to, Anyway, fans, yeah. you know, those wires aren't long enough. We can see yeah. that that bed wire, that heater wire isn't long enough. It's Your thermostat wire is probably not long enough. No, no. Um, it's so, wire. yeah. So if you're going to have yeah. to put a, if you're going to have to put an extension on that anyway, why wouldn't yeah. you just do it there? Yeah. Like yeah. for instance, the thermostat wire. Oh, see your web three. The thermostat wire disconnects. It's got that little short stubby one on it. Mm -hmm. And so all I need to do is basically make this wire that much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Is this little stubby guy? Well, yeah, I guess that can sit right there. Yeah. And this is all part of the wire management thing and how I want it to look. And Of course. Yeah. But the main thing is I, I need to run wires. So I need to get wires long enough to go back, to wire up in the back. Mm -hmm. And this has got to be up at its furthest. Oops. At its, yeah, from its furthest point. Um, consider the right consider the arch, there. yeah. Consider the arch of your wire loom, yeah, um, as length, and yeah. you know, and then maybe a little bit of a service loop slack in the back in case you ever need to cut one or do something. Yeah. You have a little bit of room. You yeah, know. I'll leave a little. I, I like to have too much wire than too little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Unless you have the wire stretcher, I think they've got them on Amazon. Um, I, I don't have the Canadian wire stretcher. All I got is the oh, so uh, it won't work for I'm you then. Use this wire. I bought this wire particularly. Actually, or was it this wire I bought? Doesn't matter. Yeah, for the I fans. like built over bots idea. Use wire nuts. It's a classy look. <laughs> wire nuts. <Yeah. laughs> oh, so built over bot. We know he fans. doesn't do good with nuts. <laughs> so what I need to do is determine. Let's just cut some wire. I don't know if I'm going to wire wire. I'll be honest. Hello, I'm David little, Wilson. I'm a little nervous tonight as far as the wiring part goes. I know I shouldn't be because it's just like plumbing. Yeah, I know. Just without but the this water. Is the part, this is the part that that where and I and I tell people on my channel. I I got called cocky in a comment once, and I think I'm anything but cocky, um, uh, because I tell people I don't know everything, and and you'll learn. From, from this part of my build that I know squat about this aspect of it. And this is why I'm looking to you who knows what you're doing to advise me. I'm not going to, you know, and as you say, it's a lot of personal preference, but at least you're going to say, no, Tim, this fan wire doesn't go to the main power supply, you know, type thing. Oh, no, so, I'll tell you if, if it, you know, I'll absolutely tell you if you're yeah. doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I'm as, going to as so start, many others. Yeah, I have a board. I'm going to have the Avis more system. than I need here. So this is the way I'm going to look. Look at this. That's cool. And I'm going to do two of these the same length. So we're going to picture a wire loom coming here, and coming back over to the main board. So we are about this length right here, with some extra. So whatever that length is. Yeah. Um. Just how many wires do you need coming from there and yeah. cut that many that length? So I'm going to go a little extra because I got tons of wire. Mm -hmm. So here's that one. Okay. So this was a fan wire. We'll do another one just like the same length because we have a hot end fan and a cooling fan. Then we have those. And then we have a 
thermostat wire. Come on, get on there. And we have a thermostat wire that's got to go from there. <laughs> Is that Maker Viking wants to know if your printer's big enough? <laughs> if it's big enough? For what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I hate when I do that. And I don't unravel wire properly and it tangles. Jody Santos. Okay, that's me getting a personal call. And my ringer should not be on my phone right now. Uh oh. And everybody that knows, including her, that I'm live. So Ooh. shame. Shame. Now, and I've told people if you call me three times in a row, I will know it's an emergency. So. So you heard that, everyone. Everybody call him at the same time. <laughs> not many people have this number. Actually, although it's not a it's not a hidden number. It's it's a well it's it's a number that's on my business card. Um, so we have two fans. We have a thermostat. <laughs> um, and then we have BL Touch. I'm going to worry about. I think I've got another wire because that's three wires. I think I have a different one for that. No, BL Touch is actually. That one's going to be five, yeah, and a different connector, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, we have so. That. now we have the heater cable. Now, I want the heater cable to be a little bigger than what I'm using here. So. So, oh, Maker Viking only asked about the size of your printer because he thought it looked a little small. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm starting with a small build, and then if, yes. if this goes really well, I'll do a big build. Well, you know, Maker Viking, there was that point in his life where he got the, you know, the sports car, now he's got the big printer. Yeah. Sports car, I wish. <laughs> uh, 20 gauge is too small. Too small. Yeah, for the heater wire. Yeah. The heater core. Okay. So let's, this one here should be, this looks like 12 Like or the Emer. <laughs> yeah. This is 12 or 4. Oh, this is plenty for the heater wire. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is nice and soft. Silicon wire. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good for the heater wire. Same length. As long as that first one was to the furthest, your longest um, wire run, yeah. right? Yeah. At any point in the back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Because the Raspberry Pi and that are down below. Okay. The. Um, Solid state relay is all wired in from behind. Then the bad wire, I'm pretty sure the bad wire that came on it. Let's just see. Oops. I dropped something. Ah, there we go. You have the Kinovo. They, oh, you got the one they sent you, right? Yeah. Yours was in the kit. Okay. Yeah, I'll the wiring it. on that, should you should have a lot of length for that, especially yeah. to just go right out the back and to yeah. the SSR. So. Okay, so there's those four wires. Let me just double check that. But, uh, Triple knot gauge for your heater. Okay. Don't uh, know oh, what yeah, that's long. you're running. <laughs> yeah, you probably got a good meter there. So yeah. yeah. And then the red one is the thermistor. So, oh yeah, they're probably they yeah. they look long enough. Okay. Okay, so we have those. So. Now I know the BL Touch. I have. Um, what's this other wire I bought? No, this is. Uh, that's red, black, white. That's three. That'll work for the one. Okay, I suppose that'll work for the one. This is a. Uh, this is servo cable, but it should work for the BL Touch. So if I run two of these, so this is a red and black, uh, black and white, and then we have a red, orange, brown. Not really worried about the color as long as I get the pin orientation right. Okay. So I'll just use a couple pieces of this since that's three, three and two. Yeah, okay. BL touch doesn't have to be super thick. <laughs> Isn't this fun, everybody? <laughs> How many people we get on? 24. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Liam says you now you've dropped something. Now it's a DeWitt stream. 
<laughs> yes, it is. I did drop that that uh, roll, although it wasn't a tool. It's just a spool. And I, I where's the tripod? Good. We don't know. He's probably leaning up against a wall somewhere. <laughs> and then we got that one cut. Now I just need to come up with something for that two wire piece for the BL Touch, the black and white. And I believe I have all kinds of wire. Um, let's see. see, Tim, it's a good thing you're using the overhead mic. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you know how many times I would have tripped over that and maybe you'd give people even more stuff to make fun of me? Actually, for that one, I'll just use this one and uh, strip the red out of it. Okay. I'll just cut another length of this same one I'm using for the main BL Touch one. And this will work. And then I can just oh, okay. strip one piece out. That'll work just as fine. Yeah. No shortage of wire here. You know, with a BL Touch... Well, eh, you'll be fine. No, go what? what is it like? So, I mean, the BL Touch is has always been susceptible to interference. Oh, okay. So, you know, the more connectors you put in it, it's if you're going to run a long run, um, you know, like people that had them on like the 5 Plus um, with long runs. Right. Uh, you know, an, a, not everyone, but a number of people, you know, complained about, you know, like EMF interference or crosstalk right. between the wires, um, giving them issues with bed leveling. So if you see that happen, then you may want to consider a different bed probe, um, oh, which see. is, which is an easy switch if you wanted to do something capacitive or inductive or whatever. Right. Um, since you don't have embedded magnets, either one would be fine. Okay. But since you have that, you know, try it. It may work perfectly. Yeah, we'll see. And I mean, yeah, you never know. Yeah, I mean, worst case, I can just run a direct. I don't have to have it as a. I mean, it can be run. Well, no, why would I run that direct if I'm not running everything else? I don't need that wire. I don't know why I smelled it. It's kind of neat. <laughs> Anyways, sniffing wire. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna throw some stuff on the shelf here. Uh, uh, no, guys, we don't know what else he's he's sniffing off screen. So it's, a, it's okay. Um, you know, some of the filaments when it's coming out that hot end, I'm telling you. So I'm just thinking now the other wiring I need to get ready. And what I'll do is this week I'm going to cheat and I'm going to practice my crimping. Um, so I've got, oh, now we need, oh, now, now we need some stepper motor wire. Now it came with some. I wonder how long they were though. The, the cable sets that it comes with, um, they should all be long enough for more than long enough for anything you need. You're going to end up either coiling it up in the back or cutting it and recrimping right. the ends in the back. Yeah, because they will all be more than long enough. Short, yeah. short, short. Yeah. They don't seem long enough. Oh, my goodness. Because, like, I've got to go from I've got to go from the um, extruder motor all the way back. Mm hmm. Well, maybe also, we'll also it. from your from your front Z rods, your Z uh, screws. Yeah, from here all the way back. You know, well, back. See, so let's see what lights they gave me here. Let's see, or a shielded pair that would get rid of it. You know, if you're going to end up putting ferrite cores on the wire or getting shielded pair, um, I don't think you want oh, twisted yeah. pair um, for shielded. Um, I, I think that's that was one of the things that. BL Touch actually said don't do, um, oh, okay. and and I'm and I'm also you know kind of responding to some of the the chat. It may work um, for you know for some runs. It may not work for everyone. But if you're going to go through that hassle, I would just I would get something you know like the the um, like TH3D's probe that it's already shielded. It's tested for right. that. It was designed for that. The cables are long enough. And on a 500 millimeter bed, uh, it's going to probe a whole lot faster than if if you're worried about it, you know, taking time to probe. So you get that benefit right. too. Yeah. Because when you, I don't know if anybody's used a, you know, like a five plus probing with a BL touch 25 points took a little while. 
it wasn't right. forever. It just felt like forever. <laughs> Is there, do you have BL Touch on your rat rig? No, no, I no. have a capacitive probe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are longer than they look when they're wrapped up. So far, they're all the same length. Then Easy ABL. Thank you, David Wilson. I couldn't think of the name. Easy and that's ABL. that's what I use. Yeah. That's I have that on every printer. Okay, so that back Z motor doesn't need a long one. It's a short one. And then we have And then your your A and B motors are will can be shorter right, ones as sure. well. And these are the shorter yeah. ones in the back. Yeah, okay. So I have three long ones, which makes sense. I have an extruder long one and two Z long ones. Then I have a Z short and two two um, A and B motors back here. Yeah, that makes sense. So I think these are plenty long enough. I mean, these are, yeah. Oh, so, so Kieran says that uh, on Amazon, somebody makes a USB-C screw terminal. Oh, really? So I don't know how that huh. works, um, if it works oh. for every cable, because when you open them up, they don't always have the same colors, and they don't always go to the same pins, depending on who made them, because they're made by hand. USB-C hmm. cables have to be made by hand, at least for now, as far as I understand. Yeah. So if I plug that guy in here, I I know, I'll, I'll, get those, um, I'll get those. I'll um, get those. See those clips for the thirty mil, for the thirty mil channel service. So that's going to run along here, and that'll run. Oh yeah, this is plenty long enough. And inside here, I don't think they're all going to fit through this one hole uh, in the back where the heater cable is going to go. Okay. So likely what I'll just end up doing is running them underneath. Yeah, and then up and back. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Are you ever going to put a bottom or a floor on it? Um, no. Okay, then. I don't, I, I don't see it. The... Um, the actual table that my brother is building for me, that's the brother I went and saw uh, a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago when I went away. I, we talked about it a little bit. And he's going to put a, a brace in it in the top that allows me to actually put a Lazy Susan on that brace. I'm going to have this thing on a 3x3 three three board Lazy Susan. Okay. So it'll, so it'll turn. If I, want, if I ever need to work on it, I can actually pull it out from the wall a little and just turn the Lazy Susan versus having to lift the whole thing. Or, or slide the whole table right out. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think I'm ever going to have anything on the bottom uh, as far as a bottom piece. No. Okay. Um, and that'll just be sort of a free flow air opening. Well, it'll be a piece of wood, if anything. Okay. Okay. I need to blow. Take care, Chris yeah. Travis. Have a good one. See you, Chris. Thanks for popping in. I have such loyal following, and these people, it's great that they put up with. Everything I do here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get that out of the way. You know they come for the real entertainment. That's Liam and they, Kieran. They, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, and they all they come in, and just to see what I'm going to hurt, what I'm going to do to hurt myself, and that's fine. Every channel has to have its unique thing, and that just happens to be that's mine. Your, yeah, you know, that's I'm, your thing. I'm thinking of another option. Now, I don't think if I put this through this hole, no, definitely not going to fit. Well, Everything. something else you could do if you had a drill bit large enough, you could you could enlarge in that hole. And yeah. at that point, 3D print another print grommet. Another, another grommet, yeah. Yeah, or if you have, you know, a soft rubber one. Or, or just dr or drill a second hole. Or drill a second hole. Nothing wrong because I because I might want one on the other side for mm -hmm. the other stepper motor cable. Yeah. Um, I don't have a bit big enough, but I can always buy a big bit this week. So we have that cable coming this way, and that's gonna we'll worry about wiring the other end. We'll do we'll do some crimping and wiring next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just leave um, everything long and dangling in the back. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to just grab another one of these long ones and see from the extruder stepper motor. Let's see. Where are you this way? 
I can only imagine. GPU <laughs> drum, and I got step drills and put new whole soft rubber when Tim's issue. <laughs> Jeez. Who said that? Astro, of course. Of course, Liam. Comes down. <laughs> and Porthos loves your fancy drill bit bag. <laughs> oh, good. I don't have a loom of any kind for my wiring yet. Um, I might have some loom material. I don't know if I want one of those chain looms. But yeah, that's plenty long there. Okay. And then we have this stepper motor. The plug is on. Oh, sure. I should have put the plug facing the other way. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not taking it apart now. You're oh, that's not bad. You're going to come over this way. See, that's where those clips that I sent you to print would be yeah. good, where they yeah. just kind of keep them from getting whatever dragged yeah, around. I'll, do them, the, I'll do them this week. Yeah. I'll print some of them this week. I think I think I have a spare, a spare printer or two I can work on. <laughs> this build needs hair. But this build needs more than a hair bow. This build needs like a couple pizzas and some subs. <laughs> this build needs hair hair bow. Hair bow. You know the oh, gummy Haribo. bears. Yeah, all the gummies. Come with, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This needs a big bag of hair bows. The big bag of the sugar free ones. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then we have the two short ones. We have one going. Oh, three short ones. Okay, let's just cut these open. Get prepped for doing some actual connecting next week. <laughs> this build needs whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm going to have a shot of uh, Sambuca when I'm done. Love black Sambuca. And this one goes in there. That's, gee, I don't know if that's long enough. Be cutting it close. Here here. I, I'm cutting it close. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mine are just coiled up, and zip tied. <laughs> this is where you know. This is where it kind of starts to look messy, and this is where it's all about cable management. But you know, I'm going to make the back. I'm going to yeah. make this back look as neat as I can. But in, in, <coughs> at the end of the day, I love people that say that. Richard Cleveland says that a lot, but it's great. It's true. At the end of the day. Nobody's going to see the back of it. No. Except me. Yeah. And those OCD guys out there that know that this power supply is crooked, that's going to be that's going to come up on every live stream. I don't care if I'm building a, a an airplane. It's going to come up about remember that crooked power supply you did on your rat rig? There you go. T-shirts. D with 3D. Yes, my power supply is crooked. <laughs> oh, that's that would I would do that. There you go. You know, this Mugs. is going to look good running down my little homemade Doomer thingies there. It, there you go. And then that'll run down my little homemade Doomer thingies right down the middle. So. But you want that top run to kind of be level. You don't want yeah. it to be crooked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that's what I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that top run. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna drill some holes. We'll do that. Um, I won't. I don't have a big enough drill bit, so I'm not gonna drill them right now. And then this last one is for the center Z motor in the back. Okay, so I can, um, I'm just thinking now, I've got to get zip ties to go through here. We've got the wires for here. So next week I can actually make, I can find, make sure I have some plugs. Um, all these things that came with the Duet Mini, these are the plugs Tim. that I have to wire for the mother mainboard, right? Tim, where's your JST kits from the droids? Oh, yes. Um, let's, do I have? Yes. Um, <laughs> whoops. Oh, is this, is this them? No. Are they white? No. Yeah. You can use those. No, as long as they're, you know within reason of size no i don't think these are the right um this is what i've got here whoops so these are more so 
So take that and see if it'll plug in to what you have. If it's a different pitch, yeah. then, you know, you can, instead of buying more, you can just yeah. recrimp the other side. Yeah, that's the female. I'm looking for the male. That's what we heard. There's the male two pin. But then how do, but that, but these are made more for um, going onto a board, aren't they? No, that's the side that you solder to the wire, and then oh. the other the other one goes into it. Yeah, the other one gets crimped. Okay, so this. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, where's my focus button? I don't know why this camera is not focusing. So that will fit right into there. There you go. So this would I would just solder the wires onto this. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that'll work for that. And then um, let's see, what's the other one? Have then if the, they're if they're the flat black ones, those are the same as the servo connectors. Right. Okay, and I think I have some servo connectors hanging around. So this little kit will work. I know I bought these kits for a reason. Okay, let me go check. It's good thing I don't have that microphone wire to my chest. Um, let's see. What do we got? Be uh, back, everybody. I'm not far. Not far. I know you can probably hear metallurgy. There we are. Oh, Waylon. Then I have a couple boxes of these. So these all appear to be female or male. No, female. <laughs> What's the. <laughs> What's the difference? If you yeah. haven't learned the difference at this yeah. point, just give up. <laughs> yeah, these all appear to be the, uh, yeah. So for the flat black ones, I don't know if these are going to do the, these won't work. I thought I had some females. Um, I was sure I did. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, David, he won't, he won't need, um, he won't need them for the motors. Uh, those already are crimped on the cables. He'll just have to either use what comes on the board side or change them over to that style that Duet uses, those kind of larger so off-white ones. Will these motor will these motor ends that are with it? They'll be or, fine. They'll be fine they'll, on the board? Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they plug right oh. in. That's oh, okay. just kind of a, you know, if you if you really want it to match, go ahead. Otherwise... Oh. In other it words, fits and if it I works. really wanted, I could use these ones that came with it, but I don't it's need like, to. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, tires versus white wall tires. They both do yeah. the same thing. They work just, you know. Well, this thing has a SD card in it already. Yeah, it comes with one, but in the end, you won't use it. But, yeah. well, that's a you know, it's keep it, don't lose it. Oh, SanDisk. I thought it said 3M. Okay, so... I think we have, well, we're at our two-hour mark, 7.54. I think we have next week's plan kind of all set. I need to drill a couple holes. So my, my, my homework for me is to get some holes drilled for running some of these wires through. It's to print these 30, um, 30 extrusion clips, uh, the clips for the 30-millimeter extrusions to run these, to hold these wires in, and to um, practice my crimping. I've got three different crimping tools. Here we go. So we have a I, I wis this guy, and this is for AWG, three different sizes here. And then we have another IWIS, which is for, um, again, I think these are very similar, but just different sizes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And this one here, I don't remember why I bought this one. <laughs> but they all do pretty much the same thing, just different style clips. They all crimp different, yeah, different connectors. Because, yeah. you know, we can't have one connector. We got to have 4,000 different styles of connectors. Yeah. 
And then I have this, your typical, these are great wire strippers. I like this style where it basically will strip any thickness of wire and you just use this to set the length of the length of the strip you want. So, yeah. Um, apparently, um, Wea, Wera, Wera makes a brand of these that are really good too, but these work for me. So until these stop working, I'll just keep using them. So Yeah. Oh, there we go. We've drilled, we've screwed, we've put in a crooked power supply. Um, we've made some headway tonight. It's starting to look like a um, half-ass 3D printer. So Yeah, not bad. Two hours, you got four things bolted onto the back. <laughs> and some wires <laughs> running. Four, no, whoa, whoa. One, you two, sniff three, some wire. Four, five. <laughs> five, five, I'm sorry. Five, yes, five things. Yeah, snip some two, wire. Well, technically three because two of them, they were already pre-drilled. So yeah, they I count the no. two count is one. That was my yeah. that was my math. <laughs> what took what took up all my time? Was it the talking? Was it the it was searching for screws and you know? Mm -hmm. you know, you you still don't know how tempting it is during the week for me to just say, okay, I've got to get I got to work on this, but uh, <laughs> that, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of live streaming the entire build so yeah so and then this one is for the center z motor which i again i'll have a hole for going straight through the back so that it's as clean as possible so <laughs> but yeah look at that so um we got drunk do it you got yeah you probably get drunk watching me you pretty much have to so it, the abuse. it's not abuse kieran if he likes it <laughs> the abuse is strong. Hey, it's all good, you know. I give it back on other streams when I when I come on streams, especially if I'm live on a stream with somebody. So it's all good. But I think I think we're done for tonight because we're at our two hour mark. So any questions for any from anybody other than Kieran and 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 Liam? I'm not answering your questions. That's it. It's not abuse if you're paying for it. You're not paying for it. I better check and see if anybody did pay me tonight. You never know. Somebody, and because I'll double check. We'll see. Oh, I did. Oh, no. What? You really got to figure out how that thing works, Tim. Well, I just, Citibank. <laughs> I've never heard of Citibank. Who is Citibank? Citibank? That's like one of the largest banks in the world. Is that an American bank? It, it is primarily, yeah. CITI. Somebody has sent me three hundred and sixty nine ninety nine Canadian. Thank you for using our service. Um, yeah, I don't and know about that one. <laughs> Apeman Company Limited has sent me three sixty nine ninety nine. Don't know about that one. Okay, well. You sure they didn't charge you? It says I've received money. Okay. Has sent me 360. Anyways, I'll look into that. See if, um, if you're is on my stream and you sent me 369.99. Thank you, but I'm positive that nobody paid for that kind of abuse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, I'm live, and I got one new subscriber. Thank you. So it's been good. It's um, I've I've I tend to be getting people subscribing each day, which I really appreciate. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit now. I am I have put out there as most of you guys have probably seen my ad for my thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm reaching out to various companies for prizes. Um, I can confirm that there will be a 3D printer involved in the giveaway. Yay! Um, maybe two. We're gonna see. Um, but yeah, so spread the word. I've put a video up on my channel about it, that my little sort of promo ad about it. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping it's going to maybe be a nice birthday present for me to hit that number. So we'll see. We have a little over a month. I'll let you guys guess when that date is, but it's just a little over a month away. So, um, yeah, but that's it. So stay tuned for that. Um, it may not happen on the 1000. I was thinking of saying, okay, subscriber number 1000 wins this. But that's just opening the door for arguments because you know, I was a thousand. No, I was a thousand. No, because you know it doesn't necessarily hit at the same time. So. No, I was a thousand because I unsubbed and then subbed back to get you there. And that's exactly what would happen. That's exactly why I would never do something like that. So, 
Um, but uh, yeah, so spread the word. Um, if you guys like what you're seeing, and obviously my regulars that are here do enjoy this, um, spread the word. And once this rat rig build is done, I've got a bunch of stuff lined up. Uh, and I'm going to be doing some more just videos as opposed to live streams as well. So, um, yeah, but this is this has been good. Again, thanks, Jason, so much sure. for everything. And um, Mark Flanagan, you know the date. Of course you know the date. You've known me for 35, 50, you've known me most of my life. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Of course you know when I, if you didn't know the date, I'd be in call. 35, uh, carry this, the other 30. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, David Wilson just said, thank you very much so much, David. I appreciate that. Thank you oh, so nice. much. Nice. I really do appreciate it. Um, oh, look, Liam. Helps. Liam is, oh, Liam can dish it out, but he can't take it. Oh, Liam. Oh, oh everybody oh. go, oh, for Liam. Oh, oh Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Why single you out? <laughs> uh, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that another time on a different stream, but uh, you know, there's a reason. So, what is what true? Kenneth saying, subscriber thousand wins the rat rig. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can pry. It. Okay, here's a movie reference. When you pry it from my cold dead hands. Well, so guys, really, you're all gonna sit here and have watched him from the beginning build this. Is this the one you want to win? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> think about that. That's that's good. With a wait crooked power I, supply, nobody wait, can take that. Wait until the day comes when I hang on. Let me show you a little teaser here. <laughs> this is cool. This this looks ugly because I haven't taken the plastic off yet. But there's going to be a thing here like this. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Boom. And I'm just gonna. I'm glad he didn't drill these holes because they're different size. There's going to be a power switch here. So when the day comes and I flick that power switch and I stand back with the fire extinguisher and I don't have to use it, then you can tell me if you still want this. So Goggles yeah. and a hard hat. That's the, that's the hard <laughs> side, which I like. This, this looks ugly, but this is just the plastic. Once I take the, the plastic film. off, the film, once I take the film off, it should be fine. So, but yeah, we have that for both sides so that'll that'll actually complete it really nicely yeah oh, there we go i cut that on my cnc yesterday nice i wish because <laughs> you, you didn't get you didn't get the upgrade for your sane smart <laughs> that's right yeah i did but not the big one that's so right let me put my drills in my drill holder there you go. Did you print that? <laughs> I print, yeah. I've got the. I've started the design in um, Fusion Fusion Three Hundred and Sixty, but I haven't finished it. There we go. Mm. I mean, it's a good drill holder. Look, they don't fall out. Get a step bit for uh, drilling the larger holes. I oh, I have a step bit. You have a step bit. I have two of them somewhere. Do I have to do everything, Tim? I have really? two of them in my garage. I think well, they're there the you ones go. that are like a little. They're like a. a they look a like a cone. Thing. They look like yeah, a top, yes, top. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have two of those somewhere. That, well, there you go. Okay, well, you saved me having to buy another drill bit. A step bit. You know, I totally forgot. And those. connectors. Yes. Yes. Step bit and connectors. Okay, I need it's my shopping list right here. That's step right. bit and connectors. That's right. Just okay. you know. Yeah. Okay, they're dropping like flies. Twenty people on there now. Two hours yeah. and four minutes. O C D says no. I'm, I don't need, I, I'm so behind in the conversation. That's it. But anyways, <laughs> we're going to call it a night. Thank you again, Jason. Appreciate you being here as always. Yeah, it's um, fun. <laughs> it is. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a couple hours of fun. I'm, I'm going to go straight through this drain <laughs> hole one day. I don't know if you can hear when that cracks when I step on it. Man. Or get a panel punch. A panel punch. That is a punch. It's a punch that's spring loaded. So when you when you line it up and you push it in inside, it gives it a little hit. So you don't have to use a hammer. Really? That would yeah. bend the panel, though. I would think. No, it just gives it a little dimple for your drill oh. bit to start, so it doesn't walk. Oh. What about the? You ever see the? You ever seen the movie called No Country for Old Men? With Tommy Lee Jones and um, Javier. No. No Country for Old Men. He had a. He used. He walked around with this tank this compressed air tank and he had this gun that they used to for on cows and basically it's for a bolt gun it sends a bolt right out and instantly 
Anyways, that's how he killed people was with his bolt gun. And he used this bolt gun as well to break through doors. And and so I imagine that would work on here too. Just go to the... Anyways, I think I'll use a step bit. <laughs> Anyways, I think, I think I I'll use a step young. bit. too young. Yes. Too young. Yeah. No Country. That movie came out and it was the... Um, the um, oh, I forget the name of the brothers, the directors, but great movie. Anyways, I watch all their movies. Um, doesn't matter. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jason. And 2007, Patrick. that movie came out. 2007, No Country for Old Men. Yeah, okay. Yep. Well, that's only, what, seven, 13 years ago, 14 With years ago? Javier yeah. Bardem, Josh Javier Brolin. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the Coen brothers. Okay. Coen brothers, yes. They, I, yeah. I love all their movies. If you, if you ever haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's a really good movie. So, And the Coen brothers make excellent movies. So, Everybody have a good night. Jason, thank you. We'll see everybody next week. Um, we'll catch everybody on the streams this week. I get on as many as I can. And, and and that's great. So until next week, everybody, peace out and Bye. rat right away. Don't forget about my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Tell people to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.